27 years ago, uh, when Lauren was born, told everyone I was given this angel from God, my, my own angel. When you're bringing up your daughter, you see things, and things don't really hit home until certain things happen, and you realize, wow, you, maybe I did do something right. About six months ago, uh, Megan, our youngest, uh, got a pacemaker. And it was at that time that I realized that Melissa and I had really done something right because she was the one that was in there holding her hand and uh, wanted to make sure that uh, she was well taken care of. Today is one of the, the hardest days of a father's life giving away my little angel. But I have to say, knowing that she's marrying one of the greatest guys that I know, that joy that you bring to her is overwhelming, knowing that you will make her happy for the rest of her life. Lauren and Jack met while they were working at Jack's parents' clothing store. Some could say they may have done more talking and flirting, perhaps, than work at times, but things that are meant to happen, happen. Call them luck, good fortune. In this case, it's God's plan, and it's worked itself out. I love you so much. I love you. And you are the most beautiful bride. I can't wait to spend this my life with you. I love you. Lauren, Jack has written a love letter to you that he'd like for me to read to you at this point. I remember the first time I saw Lauren, I was instantly attracted to her, but it wasn't until I started to spend more time with her and get to know her better that I realized what a wonderful and truly special person she was. I love absolutely everything about her. If I could live my life 1,000 times over, I can honestly say I would not change a thing. She is the single greatest thing that has ever happened to me. And I'm so thankful she's here by my side for the rest of the way. Now, Jack Lauren has written a letter to you as well. There aren't enough words or enough minutes in the world to describe how much I love you, Jack. Over the last three and a half years, I have become the best version of myself because of him. He is loving, hardworking, loyal, giving, kind, and genuine. I constantly have fun with Jack, and I feel like I've turned into a little girl again. It's the feeling you had when you were a child playing with your best friend on the playground at recess with the sun shining in your face. And that's one of the things I cherish most about our relationship is that he truly is my best friend. I'm looking forward to growing old with him and with my favorite memory of this day will be that he chose me. Lauren, before God and these witnesses, I take you to be my lawfully wedded wife. I take thee to be my lawfully wedded wife. I vow to love you. I vow to care for you and be faithful to you. I vow to care for you and to be faithful to you. I vow to treat you with respect. I pledge that I will be my best. I pledge that I will be my best. I offer you myself with all my strengths and faults. I offer you myself with all my strengths and faults. I take you as you are. With all your strengths and faults. With all your strengths and faults. I will help you when you need help. I will help you when you need help. I will turn to you when I need help. I choose you to be the person I want to spend my life with. I choose you to be the person I want to spend my life with. Because Jack and Lauren have desired each other in marriage, and having professed their love and vows to all gathered here by the authority given me by the state of Oklahoma, but more importantly because of your commitment to each other before God, I now pronounce you husband and wife in the sight of God and man. Let everyone recognize and respect this holy union, now and forever. 
May God bless and keep you. Jack, you may kiss your bride. Father, we thank you so very much for this day, what this day will mean now and forever. We thank you, Lord, for this union that we get to participate in. We thank you for the home that's being built. We ask in Jesus' name for your blessings of contentment and peace. Amen.